Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to perform a partial discharge test using the TDM 4540. Let's get started. First is the connections on the TDM 4540 necessary to perform a partial discharge test. This includes the ground connection, the input power to the unit and the communications box, the Ethernet cables used for communications from the box to the base module and to the PC. The trigger output, the communications cable from the communications box to the PDS-60 coupler, your high voltage connection that goes to the PDS-60 and then to the device under test or to your cable under test. And also it's important to note that when performing partial discharge testing, if the capacitance is less than 120 nanofarads, or if indicated by the software, a support capacitor must be placed between the TDM4540 and the PDS60 to perform the partial discharge measurement. Once all the necessary connections have been made, next it is required to take the necessary steps to perform a partial discharge test using the PD detector software on your PC. Once the software has been opened, the first step is to select the cable that has been built in the software. This can be done by following the indicators on the pinwheel selection starting with New Measurement Task. After selecting the New Measurement Task option, simply choose the cable that you wish to test from the library of built cable runs. Once selected, click the Apply button to apply that specific cable run as the cable under test. Next, the pinwheel selection will suggest moving to the calibration step. To move to the calibration step, click the calibration symbol highlighted orange. To perform a calibration, Take the partial discharge calibrator and place the red lead on the cable's conductor and the black lead on the cable's concentric neutral. Once connected, turn on the calibrator and select the magnitude of charge for the desired calibration. While the calibrator is injecting the calibration charge, click the start button on the PD detector software. If the calibration is acceptable, click the save calibration button and we are now ready to move to the next step. With the calibration completed, we are now ready to move on to the partial discharge option highlighted in orange. In this option, we will be able to set our disturbance level and perform partial discharge measurements. The first step in the partial discharge measurement option is to set the disturbance level, otherwise known as background noise. To do this, click the disturbance level button in the PD detector software, then click the start button to initiate the measurement. Once the disturbance level has been measured, Click the Save Disturbance Level button to save the measurement. Once the disturbance level has been set, the next step is to perform a partial discharge measurement. To initiate a partial discharge measurement, click the Start button. Once done, the High Voltage Output button will illuminate green. Click the green button to start the high voltage measurement. After the test has been initiated, the red off light for the high voltage will illuminate. The TDM will perform a load detection and then will charge the high voltage supply. The status of the test is indicated in the top right with a field called state. This bar will fill red as the test is running. During an offline partial discharge test, two vital measurements are the partial discharge inception voltage or PDIV and the partial discharge extinction voltage or PDEV. While increasing the test voltage, when partial discharge is first seen or flagged by the software, the PDIV can be set by clicking the Set PDIV button in the PD detector software. Conversely, when decreasing the test voltage and the partial discharge ceases to be seen or flagged by the PD detector software, the PDEV can be set by clicking Set PDEV and then cl click the Save Measurement button. Now both the PDIV and PDEV have been saved for reporting. This concludes our discussion of how to perform a partial discharge test using the TDM4540. Visit the Megger YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.